alive and alert on the north side of that dirt. It is your man, D-Real, coming at you with another B-Real with D-Real, where edutainment explains it. Philadelphia, number four. We are pressing on with Philadelphia, whether y'all want to press along with. I know y'all going to come with me. Y'all going to come with me on the journey? Come along with me on the journey. I promise to bring you up to speed and make it interesting. I will make it interesting. But before we do that, let's do what we need to do so we can do what we want to do. Comment, like, subscribe, and share to be real with D Real Pay so that when the material comes out, you get it. If you dig in with a brother shovel and put some dirt in my bucket, comment, like, subscribe, and share. Why? Because entertainment. Because entertainment. Yeah. Give you some insight into the world of Philadelphia. It's about to get deep. It's about to get deep. Last time we checked, President John Adams was the Dracula behind all of this vampire stuff. Him and his wife, Abigail, who went to the Caribbean, got bit by vampires and brought it back to America. So he decided it was time, it was time for a revolution. And this is Cry Out for Revolution by the Rodney Barnes story, Jason Alexander. Images. See that blood on their lips? That's a vampire revolution, baby. And since it's a vampire revolution, Vampires are wilding all over the streets in Philadelphia. Folks is getting jumped by vampires. Ain't nobody safe. Blood Hunt ain't got nothing on Philadelphia. I see they was doing this way, way back. Way, way back. So Philadelphia is chaos. Vampires are running wild. They biting whoever, whenever, however. Cause, cause they can. And look at this. The police, police trying to stop them, but police are food too. No one is able to stop this wave of vampires wilding on Philadelphia. Hence the name Philadelphia. Let's get back to our heroes. James Sangster Jr., James Sangster Sr., who is also a vampire, and Jose Zalazar. I think that's her last name. Um, she is the city coroner. Also a cop. And here they are, oblivious to what's going on. Jose eating a pretzel. Talking about life is too short not to eat carbs. Sangster to Junior said maybe it's the carbs that make your life short. <laughs> so, they're not aware that vampires are going crazy in the city. Now they are. <laughs> He's getting to his car because they need to get home and get to Pop. Pop might have some answers, right? Vampires are linked telepathically. Let's see if Pop knows what's going on. Meanwhile, at City Hall, Abigail and John Adams are having a drink with the mayor. The mayor is allowing the city to go to pot, or should I say, <laughs> go to plasma. <laughs> but yeah, he's just he's with it, and he and he's holding back law enforcement coming to the rescue. Mm, 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 mm. Brother. You ought to be shamed, Joseph. And right outside a police station is Toppy, Seesaw, and the gang going into the police station. But Seesaw looked like he ain't with it. You want to make a report? Yeah. Killing him. Killing him. Blood. Blood everywhere. Look at that bottom panel. Blood, blood, blood. And speaking of blood, Pops has woke up and he needs some. they like, like, uh, hold up, cowboy. are we safe here? <laughs> he like for right now, but we're going to have to give me some blood. And now we see where Seesaw went. 
seesaw went to go link up with Sangster Sr. And he's letting him know, I know you're jonesing, so I'm going to take you somewhere and we're going to help you get that monkey off your back. Ooh. Ooh. Meanwhile, inside, we find out Sangster Jr. is filling his guts to Jose and letting her know the, the rift between him and his father began when his mama died from cancer. And so they started hating each other because he was a constant reminder of the woman that the, the uh, oh, I pray I would never be that way towards my, my, my children. But um, Jose gets it because she's telling him about her parents. They wanted her to be a nun. And so the night she was going to go to the convent, she ran away. And then she came back and found out her parents had got hit by a drunk driver. Their car fell into a ravine and they drowned. So she works at the morgue, strangely enough, because she wants to be closer to her parents. Twisted, weird. And a reason for Jose and John to link up. <laughs> now they're a thing. Great. This is a great time to be getting. Well, I guess this is the best time to be getting linked up because you'll know when your next day might be your last in Philadelphia. And here is the mayor. Chilling with Abigail and John Adams. He like, he just, he don't care. He don't care. I mean, did they, they made a deal. We need to find out what that deal is. That deal will be unfolding in later issues. But right now, we know the mayor is a heel. And in the morning, he going to have the nerve to act like he ain't know what happened. Ain't that a bitch. Okay. Um, cool, cool, cool. Let's move on. A rat. James Sangster Sr. is sucking on a rat. I ain't pausing that because that's what he's doing. He's sucking on a rat. And Seesaw's telling him to take it slow because then if you drain this one too quick, I might have to catch another one. Well, you should have showed me rats. You know what I'm saying? And meanwhile, Seesaw's kind of telling him I don't like James Adams' idea for the vampire future because all he's doing is replacing this messed up system with his own messed up system. And, 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 and that's not better. Hmm. Sounds like the politics of today, doesn't it? Uh, but he said, um, Grandma used to say you can't make chicken out of chicken shit. <laughs> and he suggests freedom. Everybody does what they want to do. If you want to mess with somebody, mess with them. If you don't want to mess with somebody, don't make sense to me. He said, Remind me not to take you to invite you to the next 4th of July barbecue. Oh, uh, and when they mentioned grandma, I respect you because you 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 living by grandma's principles. What was your grandma's name? Estelle. Sangster Senior has respect for Seesaw, even though he was chasing him in life to arrest him. And John Adams has got to get out on the streets and survey the carnage for himself. Even if it means he's going to be up till the sun come out. But he's the head vampire, so he can withstand a little bit of sunlight. He kind of fly. He got that, he got that, he got that fly look to him. Man, I like I like the way John Adams got it going down. But we we talk about a dude that one of the presidents that didn't get a whole lot of attention paid to him. And now he's like, well, y'all gonna pay attention to me now. He said the ones that mocked him will be the ones that he sets free. Revolution. That's revolution, y'all. And that's Philadelphia Review, issue four. Like I said, I'm not going to be giving you the whole book from cover to cover. I'm going to give you little bits and pieces and give you the gist of the story. Y'all got to get out there. Image Comics, Philadelphia, Rodney Barnes. Jason Alexander. It's a good read. Noir kind of art, as you can see. Y'all need to get on it. Philadelphia's banging, y'all. Philadelphia's banging. Check it out. 
100%. Check it out. That's it for now, y'all. But fret not, I will be coming at you with another one of the other ones. And until I do, yeah. Y'all be good. Be good to each other. <laughs>